mics for little people. <laughs> little mic. I am Philip Cohen. Uh, hey, buddy. I do live here in town. I've never done stand-up in my life, ever. So um, if I punchline in my pants right now, just <laughs> let that one slide, because it's my first time. If I was a girl, I would just fake my jokes. <laughs> When I, was, uh, when I was in high school, I was voted most likely to succeed. I think they meant spiritually, because uh, I'm not doing that well. <laughs> I, was, I was watching a movie. You know you're not doing well um, when, you, when you have less than the loser character in the movie. I was watching this movie, it was about a family, and there were these three brothers, and you know, two of them were doing fine, and one of them was just, like, not doing well, you know? And they're like, oh, where's, where's Ray? You know, he's always out, you know, doing heroin or whatever. And they're having, like, a family dinner, you know? And then, uh, and then you hear this motorcycle pull up, you know? Of course, it's Ray. And I'm thinking, Ray's got a motorcycle? <laughs> Ray's doing all right. Is he? Well, it looks like a Harley. I don't even know. Uh, so I saw a bum on my way here. I didn't help him. Uh, he, he was all right. I mean, he was fine. He, I mean, he wasn't doing well, you know. He was on the street, and he was definitely homeless, and he smelled like urine, but I, in general, I don't help bums. Um, I'll be honest, I watch most of you not help bums too, so don't give me that look, alright? Uh, if I see a bum that's really hurting, I always carry a little canister of lighter fluid on me. Just, just in case. No, because, no, I mean, whatever, like, we don't like their predicament, you know? They're, we just, we don't like people that are on the street smelling of urine and in need, you know? But say if they were engulfed in flames. <laughs> oh, we'll help that guy, won't we? We will run to help that guy, won't we? I know, you're like, Philip, don't light the homeless guy on fire, you know? And I'm like, all right, that's fine. You know, you could, you could push him down a drainage ditch, like a deep end of the ground, like those Chilean miners. We love people that are buried under the ground. I mean, if they really need help, you know. Give them, toss them like a kitten. Like, oh my god, there's a guy, 50, he's got a kitten. We'll set up lights, we'll have firemen, we'll work 24 hours a day to save your ass, you know? You could be on the street dying, we don't care. He's underground. <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a boat and you don't want to light people on fire or push them, push them down drainage dishes, I understand that. If you have a boat, deep sea drop off. Deep sea drop off. Dude. Just be like, I mean, there, there could be a guy bleeding out on the sidewalk, you know, and we drop a perfectly healthy human being in the ocean. Oh my God, you guys, there's somebody out there. No, we need to help him. You know, we fucking love that shit. Boats are weird. We're weird in the water. My, my sister just bought a boat and I'm a Jew. We're all Jews, my family, all of us. And, uh... Well, not all of us. It's true. But, uh... So my sister bought this boat, so I, you know, I'm gonna go out on the boat. We go out on the boat. We're out on the boat. I'm like, ah, oh, we're, we don't know what we're doing. We're Jews, but this is fun. You know? And this other boat passes us, and, uh... And they wave. And my sister waves. And I was like, who's that? And my sister's like, no, that's just what people do on boats. Like... Everybody waves, you know. The second boat comes by, and I'm like, fuck this. I'm like, hey. And they're like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, wow, people are really nice on boats, aren't they? Like, they're so sweet, you know? And, uh, and we, you know, we broke the boat, because we're Jews, and we don't know what we're doing. And we're sitting, in, we're sitting in the water, and we're like, oh, we're so fucked. I'm like, God, we're so fucked, you know? And uh, somebody helped us. Guess who helped us? The first fucking boat that came by. Like, what is this, 1930s? Like, it's crazy. I think that, I think we could cure world anything, you know? Like, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Get them on boats. Have them pass each other a few times. First couple times, they'll be like, eh, oh, fuck you. By, by pass number four, they'll be like, all right, hi. Thanks, guys, I'm Phil Cohen.